Aiden O'Connell broke his thumb. Gardner Minshew broke his bum. The Raiders still can't figure out the run, and the Raider season is all but done. All that and more on today's episode of the Raider D Podcast. Well, I don't know, Raider Nation, what to do now? The Raiders cannot get a victory to save their lives. The defense keeps doing its job, but the offense cannot. The Raiders... Offense once again looked fairly anemic, even with Aiden O'Connell starting the game. But then Aiden O'Connell breaks his thumb on a crazy play where he actually throws the ball 20, 30 yards down the field and then gets an intentional grounding. Because I I don't even understand how we ended up with that penalty. But on that same play, Aiden O'Connell broke his thumb. We'll find out the exact details of the break come tomorrow, how long he's going to be out is it the season is it six weeks four weeks two weeks a week i don't know but we'll find all of that out when we do we will let you guys know straight away however after aiden o'connell left the game the d or the offense went from mm, fairly anemic but not horrible to horrible horrible Gardner Minshew is responsible for four, count of four, turnovers in this game. And if there are any, I don't know, Gardner Minshew mania fans still out there claiming that Gardner Minshew is a good quarterback, that Gardner Minshew should be the starting quarterback of the Las Vegas Raiders, who are claiming that Gardner Minshew is better than Aiden O'Connell, please Sit down and let the real Raiders fans stand up because we don't want to hear it at this point. It is a done and over with case. Case is closed and he is guilty as charged of being nothing more than a mediocre backup quarterback who had 15 minutes of fame last year with the Indianapolis Colts and he does not deserve to be a starting quarterback in the NFL. With any team. And to be honest, moving forward, I think that the Raiders will not have Gardner Minshew come next year. We will cut him, take that $15 million uh, cap that we will with him, and save ourselves $9 million in cap next year. Now remember, we're already next year poised to be at about $108 million, fifth in the NFL, with cap space. Clearing up that extra $9 million by cutting Gardner Minshew will free up an additional $9 million. So we'll go from 108 to, what is that, $117 million come next season. That's a lot of dough to play with to get some serious quality free agents in the free agency come next year. Aiden O'Connell, I think he has played his last snap as a snart, as a starting quarterback for the Las Vegas Raiders, and let me tell you why. Not because I don't think that he deserves a shot again after his thumb heal, but because I just don't think that the Raiders, in particular Antonio Pierce, are going to switch to Aiden O'Connell from Gardner Minshew early in the season and then switch back to Gardner Minshew because of Aiden's injury and then later in the season, when our season's pretty much over anyway, switch back to Aiden O'Connell again. I think Gardner Minshew ends up finishing out the season now and Aiden O'Connell is going to be pretty much reg- regulated as a backup quarterback. The Raiders are going to go out and they're going to draft a quarterback. Listen to everything Mark Davis has been saying. Listen to what Tom Brady has been saying. Listen to me, what I have been saying from the guys that I have who have the inside connection with the Raiders have been saying. And that is that the Raiders are going to draft a quarterback this coming draft. And the favorite in the Raiders organization right now is Shador Sanders. Now, he's not my favorite, but I definitely would take Shador Sanders right now. I bet if you take Shador Sanders out of college last Sunday, give him the playbook and tell him you're starting in one week against the LA Rams, we have a much better outcome than the one that we did today. And I think if you do the same thing with a guy named Cam Ward, you have an even better outcome because I think Cam Ward has more playmaker ability than Shador Sanders has. Shador may be a slightly little bit more accurate, at least in college, against lesser defenses as well than what Miami is facing. But I think uh, it's kind of a moot point because Cam Ward simply gets sacked an awful lot less 
and he makes the bigger plays an awful lot more. And more importantly, Cam Ward has proven that he can take the team on his shoulders and drive down and score points no matter what when the game is on the line. That's the type of quarterback that the Raiders have to have. And that's why I think the Raiders should maybe tank this year. Now, I don't like that word tank. I like uh, a little maybe something less aggressive in that regard. Let's just say we call the season a bye season. Instead of a bye week, we just take the rest of the season off and uh, wait till the draft. And if that's the case and the Raiders are 2-15, and 15, it's a pretty good shot that we're going to have a top three draft pick this year. Now, we're going to have other teams that will be in that mix as well. So hopefully we'll have the number one because the other teams that are going to be in that mix will also be looking for a quarterback like Carolina will most likely be a top three pick again, and they will probably take another swing at quarterback since Bryce Young has turned out to be a terrible disaster for them. But that being said, the Raiders need to make a very serious move. And I want to address one thing that a lot of people have been talking about in the comment section of the videos and the live streams. And that is, you got to build a team first. Don't waste a first round draft pick on a quarterback. Spend it on offensive line. Okay, let's address this comment. Colt Miller, round draft pick guy. He's pretty good. He's not playing as good as he used to uh, because of his shoulder injury and having an entire offseason, but he's kind of getting back into the swing of things. He's certainly not playing as bad as he was the first four games. But does Colton Miller win us games? Does Max Crosby win us games? No. Who wins you games? The quarterback. And we don't have one. For anybody who's old enough and been a fan enough of the Raiders long enough, to remember the abysmal quarterback play and the same excuse being told year in and year out that you have to spend your first round draft pick on offensive line, running back and wide receiver. You got to build the team and then draft your quarterback. Well, if you build the team, guess what happens? You're a 50-50 team. You win eight or nine games. You don't make the playoffs, but you got a 15th overall pick. And then you never get a top tier quarterback because top tier quarterbacks always go in the first 10 picks. There are exceptions. You can hit in the sixth round with a Tom Brady once in a blue moon, but do you want to count on that? Because we've tried that so many times and it hasn't worked ever since the Raiders went to the Super Bowl and lost to Tampa Bay. We haven't had a quarterback all we had like a 12 year period of no quarterbacks, a bunch of has-beens and, and backup quarterbacks as our starters until Derek Carr came. And then when Derek Carr came, he was another guy who was a second round draft pick type of dude. And he did okay. And in 2016, he was in the run for MVP and we were all hyped up and like, yes, let's go. The Raiders are back, baby. And then he breaks his legs or he breaks his leg before we go to the playoffs and it was devastating. And he was never the same since. And we suffered nine years of mediocre play from him and the rest of the Raiders because he wasn't able to really come back to be that 2016 kid that he was. Do we want to go through another period of that with Aiden O'Connell, Gardner Minshew, uh, Bradley? Like, these guys are not get us over the hump. End of story. What the Raiders need now is a quarterback. And I, I'm sorry, but I love Aiden O'Connell, and I was calling for Aiden O'Connell to get his shot. But this is the way the NFL works. Players get hurt, and they lose their shot. And I think he's lost his shot, depending on how long this injury is going to last, for him to showcase what he can and can't do. But I'm going to be honest, he didn't play that well last week. It wasn't terrible. Definitely wasn't as bad as Gardner Minshew. But in this game early on, he also wasn't playing very well. He was overthrowing guys as well. He was he was making poor decisions in, in his throwing. He's not a superstar, at least not now. So the Raiders need a superstar. If you agree or disagree, drop a comment down below and let me know. Should the Raiders tank the season 